Hey actors, it's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager, Los Angeles, California. Uh, I guess what I want to talk to you about today is what is acting? Because sometimes I see uh, people sending me demo reels and clips of projects they've done and um, they don't really understand what acting is, so I'm going to explain that to you. So think about it this way. Acting is stepping into the shoes of another human being and being them for a minute. Now, what does that mean to be them? Obviously, you don't just stand on stage and says, hi, I'm so and such. No, what does it mean to be them? When you step into someone else's shoes and be them, you feel what they feel, you think what they think, you want what they want, you need what they need, you're afraid of what they're afraid of, you react the way they react, you worry the way they worry, you have memories of your life, um, you have experiences that you've had, that person's had, uh, that shaped who they are, you have experiences, you've been places, you know, uh, you have things in your life that you've loved, things that you've hated, things that, um, you know, have really stood out as memories. And when you step into someone else's shoes, you're stepping into all of those things about that person. So in order for us to feel connected to that, like to feel that person, because when we are an audience, right, and we go to the, to see a, a person, another character, a person, uh, we want to see their life. We want to, we want to be taken into their experience, into their life, into their, their concerns and joys and, 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 and victories and losses. We want to feel what they feel. That's what the whole, whole art is about, you know, uh, experiencing what other people feel so that we feel that's the art of acting. So in order for us to feel what that person's feeling, you have to feel it. You have to feel it first above anything else. If you don't feel it, we don't feel it. So I just, you know, I just did a Skype uh, coaching with an actor who has a callback on uh, next week. And the first time he presented the scene to me, he was acting like he was acting, genuinely for 15 minutes, <laughs> acting like he was acting, which doesn't move me and won't move anybody else, right? So the concept of, okay, instead of acting like you're acting, you gotta do some homework, okay? This was a, 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 a monologue uh, a very long monologue, a, a very, very deep monologue about a boy who had um, killed his sister. And uh, he was saying it with like extra emotion about killing her, you know, instead of really feeling what it feels like to feel responsible for the loss of somebody else. And he did things that caused the accident. So, you know, his homework that I gave him was he ha he has to really look at the relationship with his sister. You know, what did she mean to him? What did she want to be when she grew up? How does everyone around him treat him now? Every time his family member looks at him, they see her. They see what he did. That's a lot of weight to carry. And it's very sad. You know, sometimes if you really think about a situation, that's why we have empathy. If you really think about a situation and what people are going through, you, the sadness of that is enough sadness to bring to the scene, you know? Instead of trying to find sadness sometimes, sometimes the, the experience, if you live in it and feel it and think about it, it's sad or it's joyful or, you know, so as an actor, you're, you're, they say your homework, you know, but your work is to sit down with that character, it's on a piece of paper, and then create a real life person out of it, you know? If you're writing down, this is where that character was born, and this is this is some of their favorite memories, and these are their favorite friends and their favorite relationships, and this was the m most horrible person they had a relationship with, and this is some of the loss that they've experienced, and this is how they feel about that character in that scene, and this is how they feel about that character in that scene. This is what they're really afraid of. And this is what they really need, and this is what they want, and this is what they're willing to die for, and this is what they believe in. Then when you're being somebody else, you're actually able to be them for 15 minutes, three hours, or however long the, the part requires. You, you step into their being and you be them. You feel them. You think them. You breathe them. And then you step back out of it and go back on with your life. And that's what being an actor is. So 
there are techniques to learn how to do that. That's why you take acting classes, you know, uh, techniques for breaking down a script, techniques for creating a character. There's a, there's a great book called Building a Character that I read back in college when I was studying theater. Uh, it just showed all the different ways you could add layers to a character and, you know, watching people and see how they move and talk. And when you're creating a character, you, you know, you don't just bring yourself into it. You create the real life of another person. And if you don't like doing that work, you probably don't want to be an actor, you know, because it's not you step in and say, I'm me playing Jim. Hi, I'm Jim. <laughs> you know? That's not what it is. That's not acting. Okay, it's, it requires really removing everything out of your consciousness except the person that you're being and, and being so focused that you're not worrying about what other people think about you. You're, you can't even be thinking about that. If, you really, if you're thinking about that, you're really not acting because when you're acting, you're thinking about who you are, who that character is what that character needs, who that character, you know, who you are as that character. Um, you certainly cannot be thinking about both at the same time. You can't be thinking the thoughts of the character and worrying about what everyone else thinks about you. You can't do those two things at the same time, okay? So when you're acting like somebody else and being the essence of somebody else, if you start seeing yourself wandering with stupid thoughts that have nothing to do with that character, delete them. Delete. You stay focused on what you're doing. That's just a brief little acting lesson for you if you want to understand what acting is. That's just a beginning conversation. You need training to develop all of that. And there are great teachers. I always suggest you get into a class where you're the worst of everybody in the class and you study with that person for six months to a year until you're one of the better actors in that class. Then you move on to another class where, again, you are the worst. Everyone's better than you. And you spend another six months or a year with them until you're one of the best there. That's how you will grow as an actor. Every teacher has something to teach you, but you got to stretch in your acting classes. You know, if you're cruising in them and you think you're all that and you're one of the best of the best and you just stay there, you're never going to grow. you got to keep growing as an actor, okay? I have a Skype consultation due, so i got to run, but... Um, Take care and subscribe and follow my videos. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.